The last function we're going to look at is the delete function that you saw referenced in the delete button earlier. It takes one argument, which is a reference to the particular delete button that was clicked. We get the parent of that element, which of course was the whole post of the particular div that was clicked, and we store that in the post variable. Again, we initiate another AJAX call of the type post, going to the same script, and this time we pass in the ID of that particular post and a flag saying del equals true. On the server side, we find the del flag executes this particular bit of code here. We pick out the ID, store it here, and we execute another MySQL query that says delete from the table CMS posts where the ID is equal to the ID that we found here, or die. To reflect that that post has been deleted from the database on the client side, what we do is we get the success div and we post in a little bit of text just saying the post was deleted and then we hide that post over a period of 300 milliseconds which uh, you can see as that sliding out animation there and as soon as that's finished we execute this function here that removes the post from the HTML if there's any errors we say could not delete post again mainly just debugging purposes